Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing. We appreciate your effort in supporting us. Please motivate me by giving me stuff to react to. Just drop the name or the link down in the comment section below and I'll be more than glad to check it out. Uh, check out our second YouTube channel called FanyNJC 2.0. Head there, subscribe and enjoy the content that we put out. If you want to be friends, you can find us on Facebook and Instagram as Fanny and Jesse. Say hi, we'll say hi back. So today I'm going to be reacting to another good question asked by the same engineer brother to Dr. Zaki Naik and another great reply. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Shall we proceed to the next question from the brothers? Yes. Um, yeah. My name is Rahul. I am a telecoms engineer working in Dubai since 2002. I want to ask a few questions. Coming from my background, I think religion is something that following that, you're safe from making, um, having problems in your life, yeah? Um, my first question is, I recently read a report by a doctor saying that because of marriages in first cousins in Islam, it leads to a higher probability of the fetuses being born uh, as handicaps, yeah? it increases the probability of the babies born without hands or without legs. So if it was something that could potentially cause harm, it should not have been allowed in Islam. Another point to, I would like to add to the same question is, recently I suffered a little bit of a BP, and I went to the doctor, and the first thing he said to me is that stop eating red meat, which is again allowed in Islam. So I would uh, think that if these things could be harmful to the human body, these should not have been allowed by who has created us. So if you can clarify me on that. The brothers asked two questions. The first question that is talking about consanguineous marriages. Consanguineous marriages means marriage between close relatives. In English, it's called as consanguineous marriages. And in consanguineous marriages, medical science tells us today, there are high chances of genetic problems. And I do agree with the brother. Mm. So why does Islam permit that? It's clearly mentioned in the Quran in Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 22 to 24, the woman who you can marry and the woman who you cannot marry is mentioned there. Amongst them, it's clearly mentioned you cannot marry your sister and a lady cannot marry the brother. It's mentioned. Neither the father, neither the mother. You cannot marry the brother of your father, the ladies, and you cannot marry the sister of your father. That means the important close relatives are mentioned in the Quran. Brother, sister cannot marry son and mother, father and daughter, paternal uncle, maternal uncle can't marry. But as far as first cousins are concerned, Islam does give permission. Now, as far as consanguineous marriages are concerned, the maximum problem comes when you marry your direct blood brother and sister. Consanguineous marriage. Even if you marry your direct father, daughter, mother and son, or your uncle, the chances are also there if you marry your first cousin, but it's negligible, very negligible. So no, it's that's not, not... That's not what the report said. The report said that because of marriages in first cousins, not your brothers and sisters, it let leads me, to this problem. Let and me it was from a let, doctor. Let it me was complete. published in Gulf News as well, actually. Brother, let me complete even I'm a doctor. Ah, okay. Fine. Even I'm a medical doctor. Yeah. It means medical doctor with that doctor. Yeah. The chances in direct relatives are very high. Yeah. If a sister and brother marry, the chances are very high. Yeah. If a father and daughter are very high, you have read only one report, you haven't read the other report. Uh, yeah. So you only read Gulf News, I read medical books. So right. Gulf News is better or medical books is brother? Right. Which so is your better? point is, your point is marrying in first cousins, uh, the lesser, chances of getting lesser, problem is negligible. As compared to brother and sister. As compared father, to, as, as compared, compared to. Yeah. Compared but to. still, but still there is a... Brother, will you let me complete my answer or? Sorry, yeah, please. So you have more faith in Gulf News? No, no, not really. I'm here huh? to find the, the truth. truth. That's right. <laughs> so what do you realize? That consanguineous marriage, and I agreed with you. I didn't say it's not there. Yeah. So I'm not trying to beat around the bush. But compared, it is negligible. Compared to direct blood brother and sister. Now, mm -hmm. I do agree that there are medical genetic problems in various ways. But this report is there when you have continuously generation after generation. And our beloved prophet said, according to Dr. Ahmed Sakhari says, the prophet said, do not marry against first cousins generation after generation. Oh, if you do it once okay. or twice, it is no problem. Yet, even if you marry 
not cousins also you can get a problem do you know that yeah yeah that ah, so that doesn't mean that you stop marriage only right so there is a hadith ah. which says yes. that do not do it generation after generation yes but okay. otherwise generally there's no problem right fine okay. Okay. so coming to your second question yeah you went to a doctor and you said you had high bp yes doctor said you have red meat yes so why does islam allow red meat yes you know my friend went to a doctor and doctor said you have diabetes don't have sugar brother why do you have sugar right why don't have sugar my friend went to a doctor doctor said you have diabetes don't have sugar brother do you have sugar yes of course why you have to stop having sugar yeah well, we can live on vegetables easily possible can we you can live, live without having chicken. sugar can you live without having sugar even vegetarian that sugar brother yeah are you educated yeah, yeah. mashallah <laughs> the problem is that person had a problem with his pancreas yes. in the pancreas there are islets of linger hand which break down the sugar because my friend had a problem in the pancreas he could not break down the sugar therefore the doctor said don't have sugar right so you have some problem of red meat you should not have red meat others can have red meat right <laughs> the quran right. says a gender statement quran says eat what is halal and tayyab for you there's a verse in the quran eat what is halal and tayyab for you for a person suffering from diabetes sugar is not tayyab so according to the quran a person having diabetes should have less sugar it's a gender statement eat what is halal and tayyab for you that means certain things which is good for other may not be good for you but there are certain things which are bad for everyone alcohol alcohol is bad for everyone it is prohibited for everyone pork is bad for everyone therefore pork has been prohibited for everyone what do you realize certain food because of the way your metabolism is made because it's a problem for you doesn't mean that everyone should abstain from it hope that answers the question brother. sure okay my uh, next question is um islam allows marriages um i mean a husband to marry more than one wife four wives is it um compulsory to take the permission from the wife before marrying that second one because a lot of muslim girls have told me that you know they have to take permission from the first wife so our interests are taken care of i hope you don't intend to become a muslim and marry more than one wife huh no i don't because <laughs> because there's a new law in the indian government if a hindu converts to muslim and marries more than one wife then there's a problem yeah, yeah. there's a no, new law that i don't intend to but i just need to find don't out don't intend to because... marry or don't intend to convert i well <laughs> i won't answer that now <laughs> <laughs> there was asked the question that is it compulsory that the husband should take the permission of his first wife before he marries the second wife as a general rule because it is mentioned in the quran that a man can have more than one wife it is not required for a man to take the permission of first wife but it is preferably takes permission or at least informs her okay yeah. as far as permission certain conditions become compulsory during a nikah during a marital contract a man or a woman before they get married they can put any condition which are permitted if the woman puts a condition in the nikah nama that my husband will not take a second wife as long as i live because marrying more than one wife is optional so if she puts a condition then it becomes compulsory for the husband to take the permission of the wife otherwise he cannot marry if this is not mentioned in the nikah nama if it's not mentioned in the marital contract it's not a must it is preferable okay, hope that answers okay. the question thanks my last question this la my last question is yeah, brother you're most welcome just stand behind the queue okay, there may you. be one or two non muslims you. you can wait brother there may be one or two non muslim just stand behind the non muslims and we'll try and give all the non muslims the chance an interesting video uh, concerning marrying your first cousin who exactly is your first cousin like my mom's sisters or father's child not father's child like my mom's sisters child or on my father's side on my father's sister's son or something i'm trying to understand what a first cousin here is um i mean if it's allowed then do it if it's not then don't do it otherwise i've actually also heard rumors that if you have a child with someone your brother your sister the child may not be fully okay i hope that makes sense and um i i don't know about that one though i really don't know about that one i think it's a it has to do with what you believe in and otherwise if you ask me i think it's crazy to marry your cousins because that's your cousin that's like a brother to you that's like a sister to you 
so how do you even look at them in that way um that will forever be interesting to me and then we move on to the uh eating meat um um i don't want some vegetarian because i'm not because i eat meat once in a while but then if it's causing us all these diseases I also wonder why would God let us eat something that's just going to kill us, you know? It's the same as I am, but people react to things differently, you know. What I may eat may not affect me. What that food can do to someone else is different. Either way, why not just make us vegetarians, plants? Because plants are quite good. Is there anyone allergic to plants? I would love to know that. Or we do not thrive on a plant-based diet. That's really something I would love for us to discuss in the comment section if you're open to. And then um, the wives thing, I think we've already tackled it before. I personally think someone should ask for permission. But then if Islam is saying, if it wasn't in the contract, the husband can do as he pleases. Or sometimes you may ask i think that's fair that's fair enough quite fair let me know what you guys think um if there's anything you want me to react to let me know down below make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with the friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video